Welcome to another TV with the HP EliteBook 840, which is a 14-inch notebook by HP, just announced yet in this cover 2014 in Barcelona. We have a beautiful matte non-touch uh, 1600 by 900 pixel resolution display. I guess you can choose different options and also you have a really nice um, device here in terms of specs because you have the latest Intel processor inside with the Intel Atom um, i5, uh, not Atom, Intel i5 5200U built in. So let's check out some ports, like for example that we have on this side, two USB 3.0 ports, one gives out power also when the device is off, VGA, smart card reader, can sinken, and also a fan vent. This is how far you can tilt back the screen. On the front we have some status LEDs, nothing else special there. But on the other side we have the docking station port, which is a lot, uh, quite important. Then we have power um, network, two more USB 3.0 ports, display port, and then you have your headset port right here on the front. So a nice range of ports, but as I said, you can expand it easily here with this little thing. Then, of course, a beautiful keyboard with a few extra buttons like Wi-Fi off and mute right here. And also you can uh, turn the device on and off here on the top left. Speakers and really a great keyboard built in with uh, two options for your mouse. On the outside you will find here this matte black design which looks quite beautiful. Uh, fingerprints are not really visible as you can see here. And these ones you can get easily uh, off the back cover of the device and on the bottom you will be able to see that we have the possibility to easily um, take off the whole cover, change the RAM, hard drive or anything that you want easily and also here on the side we have an SD card reader right there with a dummy so the dust isn't going in and if you don't use it so much you can just leave that inside there. So this was a really short hands-on of the HP EliteBook 840 of the second generation. Till next time please tune in again. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Balazs and thank you for watching.